Hi again everybody. This is a kind of um, appendix additional report to the first I gave about the Sony A6000 with different lenses and somebody asked me uh, to give some examples of photography instead of video clips. Uh, I, I'm quite sure a lot of people use the A6000 Sony camera more for photography than for m making movies and that's why I did some tests the last days and I want to um, talk a little bit about this but there is a link underneath uh, for a Flickr page and you can see all the tests directly there from the photography and I will try to add some more the next days if I have time. The first uh, pictures I shot as a test with the photography um, I used the settings standard 000, 000 because I think it's more or less neutral. I would not recommend these settings if I am shooting photographs then I would prefer to go to portrait or something else. Uh, but uh, to make the tests I want to keep it neutral as possible. Um, I did everything with a manual focus. I focused, focused always at the center of the, of the picture, not at infinity, at the center. I used an automatic white balance to keep this neutral and I used a tripod. What I've seen first was that uh, the color character is definitely different of the lenses. You can see between the lenses a slightly different between the colors, even at the same daylight, the same shots. The second what I found out is that the frame is different. So um, I used for this test only 35mm lenses, except the Pentacon, I have only a 29mm. And um, the frame is different between the 35mm uh, lenses. One is a little bit wider, one is a little bit smaller. So it's not always the same frame. It was interesting. And the second time what I, uh, the second thing what I found out was that um, the, the depth of the field is the depth of the sharpness is not always the same. So I, I, I used uh, for one test um, the f-stop 5.6 and I thought we have the same range of sharpness of the, of the depth of sharpness but it's different. Uh, the Feuchtländer lens I think is a little bit more, has a little bit more of this depth. Instead other lenses are a little bit shorter at the same f-stop. That was interesting. Watch the pictures. Um, I'm not, maybe not neutral enough. In my opinion the winner from, for, from the lenses for me is the Feuchtländer, uh, followed by the Contax G lens. Third place would have Sony lenses. I think the Feuchtländer lenses, they have something that uh, makes the picture a little bit slightly sharper than other lenses. It's difficult to explain. I have always the feeling it's a little bit sharper. Especially in the post-production. If I work with the Feuchtländer lens and I overwork it a little bit in the post with sharpness, um, um, then it's, it looks even sharper than a full HD in my mind. It is definitely not 4K or something like that, but it is it's more brilliant, it's more sharper. I like these lenses very much and I've seen the same uh, effect is in photography too. Uh, the second lens I like very much is the Zeiss Contax because it's a warm character, it's very sharp, it's a Zeiss lens. My god for this money it's, phew, it's really cheap to get a Zeiss lens for that. Excellent lens, warm in the, in the character of the color, really nice. And the third I would choose the Sony lens because it's very neutral, very good balanced, maybe a little bit too cool in some aspects. So the color is sometimes very cool in that direction, blue, but it's okay. You can overwork this in the post-production. This is my personal opinion. That's not a, a neutral test, but this is what I think is also working for photography. So, Doodle de doo. That's something I think it's important. Um, if you run around and you have five lenses in your pocket, uh, I think the weight is important. How much does one lens uh, is the weight for from one lens? And I have here my kitchen little scale, and I, we will try out 
uh, the different weight of the lenses. And about the weight um, of the lenses, definitely the winner is the Sony. Sony is uh, with um, 156 gram really not heavy. The next is the Folklander. I was surprised, I thought this is much more. 186, it's, you can feel it's more heavy. Then uh, we have the next is the tiny little Leica. It's even more. It's 200 gram. Followed with the contact, contacts lens with 214. It's even more. Then the Pentax just has 286. Ooh, wow. It's heavy. If I have there three lenses in my pocket, it's very heavy. And the loser in this ranking is the Nikon with 326. It's a really heavy lens. 35 millimeter with the adapter. I measured all with the adapters. Uh, the Nikon lens is really heavy. Might be a good class of a good time, but it is heavy. If I have five lenses of Nikons in my pocket, I have to carry. If I have five lenses of the Sony in my pocket, it's much more easier to go long distances. It might be a reason to think about that too. Please watch the pictures and find your own opinion about that. That's all I can tell. Have a nice day. Bye.